Hi friends, my name is Ashok. Welcome to Ashok IT. In this video, we will understand how to deploy Spring Boot application by using Docker. All right, let's get started. Before going to deploy Spring Boot with Docker, let's have a quick introduction related to Spring Boot and Docker. What is Spring Boot? Spring Boot is an approach to develop Spring based applications with less configurations. Earlier, we used it to develop applications by using Spring Framework, but in the Spring Framework, as a programmer, we need to take care of configurations. To reduce burden for the programmers, Spring Team released Spring Boot as an alternate to develop Spring based applications. When we go for this Spring Boot, it is going to provide auto configuration. The configurations will be taken care by Boot itself. With this Spring Boot, we can easily create the applications that we can just run. The remaining configuration part will be taken care by Boot. Now, we are going to develop one Spring Boot application here and we will deploy that application by using Docker. What is Docker? Docker is a containerization platform. Containers. Currently, containers are trending in the market, right? Container is nothing but easily shippable. We can transfer the containers from one location to another location easily. That's why the Docker people has given the logo also as a ship logo. Inside the ship, you can see the containers. Easily we can ship them. Our applications will become portable when we use Docker. Here, what is the main advantage of going for Docker? If you want to run our application, for example, if you take a Spring Boot application, in order to run that Spring Boot application, we need Java software. If we want to use a database for our application, then we need Java plus database to run our application. Whenever we develop our application directly, we cannot give to the client for execution. We need to test our application in multiple environments, then only we will give to client. So we are going to test in the dev environment, sit environment, and UAT environment, pilot environment will be available and prod will be available. When we want to test our application in multiple environments, what about the softwares which are required to run Java software, MySQL software and all. We need to install those softwares in all the machines that will take a lot of time. To reduce that problem, we are going to use Docker containers. Here, when we go for Docker containers, our application will execute inside a container and that the Docker software will take care of all the required softwares. Those are called as dependencies of our application. For running the Spring Boot application, we need Java. Java is a dependency for boot application. If you have a database, database will become dependency for our Java application. Instead of we are installing all the dependencies in all the machines, we are going to use a Docker. Docker will provide the infrastructure to run our application easily in any platform, in any machine. So that's why Docker is trending in the market. With the help of this Docker, we can easily deploy our application into multiple environments as a containers. How to dockerize the application? In order to dockerize the application, we need to write a Docker file. Docker file contains a set of instructions to install the required dependencies for our application. In the Docker file, we will specify where is our application code and what dependencies are required to run that code. By using the Docker file, we are going to build a Docker image. Docker image is like a package which contains our application code plus application dependencies. Once the Docker image is created, you can take that Docker image and you can run that image in any platform. Once you run the image, Docker container will be created. Inside the container, our application will be executed. Docker file, Docker image, Docker container. Docker file contains set of instructions to build the Docker image. Docker image is a package which contains application code plus application dependencies. Once image is created, we can run that image in any machine, in any machine. Once you run the image, container will be created. Inside the container, our application will be available. Docker container is called runtime instance of our application. In order to run the Docker containers, we need a Docker engine, Docker software we need to install in our machine, either Windows or Mac or Linux. If you install the Docker engine, then you can run the Docker containers by using Docker image. Once you run the Docker image, 
all the required dependencies will be taken care by docker only you can simply execute docker image in any platform your application will become portable all right let us see how to dockerize this application here i'm going to create one spring boot application in that i will create one rest controller then i will package that spring boot application by using maven a jar file will be created then i will write a docker file for the spring boot application by using that docker file i will create a docker image once the docker image is created i will run the docker image then it will create a docker container once the container is created we can access that application in the browser all right let's get into the practicals of this here i'm using spring tool suit ide i'm going to create one project new spring starter project I'm using the name of the project as spring boot underscore docker underscore app maven as a build tool packaging type jar group id in dot ashok it package name in dot ashok it artifact id spring boot underscore docker underscore app click on next in order to create this boot application I'm using boot version 2.7.6 and I need a web dependency to create the rest controller I'm selecting web starter click on next click on finish Spring Boot project is getting created. Inside this project, I'm going to create one REST controller and I will map our method to one GET request. Create a class. I'm taking a class name as Welcome REST controller. Inside this class, we can write a method and map that method to HTTP request. Public string GET message. Here I'm going to return welcome to ashok it got it now this class is a normal java class now i want to make it as a rest controller let us take a annotation at the rate rest controller let's map it to a method by using get mapping all right i'm creating a rest controller it's done so once this rest controller is ready now we need to package our application by using maven we are using maven as a build tool let me go to pom.xml in the pom.xml we can configure the name of the jar file by using final name here i'm giving the name of our application as sb underscore docker underscore app you can give any name if you give this name the jar file will be created with this name it is not mandatory but optional here if you don't give that final name then it will take our group id our artifact id and our version a lengthy name will be given for the jar file so i want to make it as simple so i'm giving the name as sb underscore docker underscore app that's it in the pom.xml let us go to our workspace so this is our boot docker app in this project pom.xml is available target directory is available inside the target jar is not available because we have not packaged our application yet now let me open command prompt and let me package this project by using maven here i am using maven goal mvn clean package when i use mvn clean package it is going to download all the required dependencies and it is going to package our application once application is packaged we can see the jar file in the project target directory it is downloading the required dependencies it is building the jar file yes finally our build got success let us verify that in the target directory with the given name our jar file got created so now i want to deploy this jar file by using docker for that we need to create a docker file in this project i'm going to write a docker file now in this docker file we need to write the instructions to build the docker image the first instruction is from I'm going to specify the base image open JDK either Java 8 or Java 11 or Java 17 which version of Java we need to run this application we are going to specify that by using from then we need to copy the jar file from 
our system path to docker container where the jar file is available inside the project target available inside the target this is the jar file let us take this i'm going to tell here inside the target directory my jar file is available this is the path of the jar copy this jar into copy this jar into container location so slash user slash app is the default location in the docker vm so that means a docker container will be created that is a virtual machine with linux in that this location will be available i'm telling to docker to copy the jar file from our project target directory to docker image in this location once the jar is copied to that location i will set the work directory as that location where our jar is available then we need to tell the docker to execute our jar file from that location so i'm going to use entry point instruction it is used to execute our instructions while container is creating how to run a jar file so we are going to use java java space iphone jar then name of the jar file this is the jar file that it has to execute i'm telling to docker to install java 11 version copy the jar file from the project target directory to this location in the docker then go to that location and execute our jar file this is the docker file that i am writing to create a docker image once this docker file is available we can build the docker image let's go to command prompt now before going to build the docker image first let me check are there any docker images available in my machine and guys here make a note in order to build the image and run the image docker software should be installed in my machine docker software is running as a docker desktop in my windows machine docker is running docker software is running now as the docker software is running i can execute the docker commands i'm going to use a command called docker images when i execute the docker images command it is not giving me any output that means no images are available in my machine no images are available in my machine now in my project docker file is available by using that docker file i need to build docker image so what is the command that we are going to use to build a docker image docker build command we are going to use docker build iphone t iphone t represents a tag name that means image name you can give any name for the image i'm giving the image name as my esb app spring boot application space dot this dot represents that it will check in the current directory in this current directory project directory docker file is available to build a docker image docker file is the input docker build is the command iphone t represents name of the image dot represents current working directory it will search for the docker file in the current working directory execute this command once we execute this command as per the docker file it is going to build a docker image docker image creation is in progress yes finally our docker image got created so how to verify the docker image is really created or not by executing that command docker images yes when i execute the docker images command it is saying that one image is created 20 seconds ago earlier when we execute the docker images command it has not given any output now when i execute the docker images command it is giving that image which is created sb app is the name of our image this is the id of the image just 20 seconds ago our docker image got created once the docker image is created we need to run that image so that docker container will be created so what is the command to run docker image right docker run iphone d iphone d is optional iphone d represents detached mode iphone p it is a port mapping so docker container nothing but a virtual machine will be created in that machine our application will execute i need to map that container port to our host machine port host machine nothing but our computer where docker engine is running in my machine i want to use port number 8080 docker container that means our spring boot application will execute with 8080 as a port number here this 8080 is a container port which is using by our spring boot this 8080 is our host port i am mapping container port with host port docker 
run iphone d iphone p port mapping space image name what is our image name sb app is our image name spring boot application using 8080 host port i am using 8080 you can change the host port also no problem iphone d represents detached mode that means once this command is executed my command prompt should be free to execute other commands if you don't use iphone d container will create you will see the logs directly you can't execute any other command that's why i'm going for detached mode execute this command it is creating a container yes container got created so this is giving some output what is the proof to say that container get created let us see the containers which are running by using docker ps command when i execute docker ps command it is saying that one container is running this is the name id of the name of the container this is the image which used to create that container this is the command which executed by docker engine 16 seconds ago our container got created this is the container port and this is the host port now docker container is running that a docker container port i map it to host port now let us try to access that application in the browser let's go to browser localhost colon host port what is the host port we have given 8080 let's hit the url yes we are able to get the message welcome to ashok it so who is giving this message our container is giving that message inside the container our spring boot application is executing in the spring boot application our rust controller is available rust controller is having a method which is binded to get request with the default url pattern so when i send localhost colon 8080 slash it is giving the response for us so with this we are able to deploy spring boot application by using docker for example if i deploy this spring boot application by using docker in the linux machine that machine public ip we are going to use to access our application all right good if you want to understand more about the docker so here i have prepared some videos on the docker what is docker and how to work with docker what are the docker commands that we need to know here we have used two commands one is docker build command and docker run command docker build command is used to build the docker image docker run command is used to run the docker image and we have executed docker images command which will display what all the images are available in our machine and similarly we can use a docker ps command to see what all the containers running in our machine i hope you understood how to work with the docker if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for upcoming videos i will share this docker commands video url also in the description thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video